Welcome to Children's Church. I am so glad to be spending this time with you today and to do this lesson with you today. It's actually going to be a very short lesson. And since it's Valentine's Day, I don't know what day you're um, watching this or doing this lesson with me, but today is Valentine's Day and we're going to be talking about love. And I want to give you plenty of time to do this little um, craft if you would like to. Um, and to spend time with your family. So today we're talking about love and love can give us all kinds of good feelings. Um, when we talk about people that we love, who we love or things that we love, oftentimes people say something like, I love tacos, right? And then you also say, I love my mom. <laughs> so <clears throat> are, you, is your, are your feelings for tacos the same as your feelings for your mom? probably not exactly the same. But in English, we use the word love for a lot of things, but it's usually for things that we feel good about, right? Well, love isn't always about feeling a good feeling per se. Today, we're going to talk about when we love others and when we love God, that means we will apologize and say, I'm sorry, when we've done something wrong. And I don't know about you, but that can be hard and doesn't always feel good. I don't enjoy being wrong or doing something wrong and hurtful. And it feels kind of awkward and yucky to apologize, right? I don't know if you've ever felt that way. So we're going to talk about that today because it's important. And we're going to look at a couple of people in the Bible. If you watched the children's message, you heard me talk about King David. Now, King David was chosen by God to be king because God said he was a man after God's own heart. That David really loved God and wanted to do the right thing. And he did all kinds of amazing, wonderful things. He was considered one of the best kings of Israel. And he was not perfect. He sinned. He did a couple of really terrible things and he did them on purpose. And a prophet named Nathan came to him and said, David, I know what you did and I know that it was wrong. And David admitted to it. So the first thing we need to do when we've done something wrong is admit that we did it and that it's wrong. It's not easy to admit when we've done something wrong, but it's important. And so David admitted in 2 Samuel chapter 12, verse 13, it says, David confessed to Nathan, I have sinned against the Lord. So we need to admit it. And then the second thing we need to do is apologize. And in Psalm 51, David um, writes this whole long psalm or apology to God. He says, I'm sorry, please forgive me. Um, show me the right way, God. Teach me the right thing to do. And so when we apologize, we first admit that what we did was wrong. And then we say we're sorry. Please forgive me. I would add, if you could say, what could I do to make it better? And the other person might say nothing, or if you've, if you've hurt them, maybe they might ask for a Band-Aid, if you could get them a Band-Aid or walk them to the nurse's office or something like that. Um, or if you knocked over their toys and you say, I'm sorry, what can I do to, to make this better? They could say, can you help me clean up the toys? Or you could offer that, you could say, I'm sorry, please forgive me. Let me help you clean, I, I will clean this up. Like if you were the one who knocked it down, then you could say, I will, I will clean it up. So those are some things you could do to when you apologize. Jesus in Matthew chapter six also taught about this. Matthew is the very first book of the New Testament. And in Matthew chapter six, verses 13, verses 9 through 15, um, 
is what Jesus taught us to pray, the Lord's Prayer, and about forgiveness. And it says, forgive us our sins, or we, we will say, forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors or as we forgive those who sin against us. So it's important, Jesus teaches us, it's important to say, dear God, I'm sorry, please forgive me. And please help me to forgive others too, right? Because that's what real love does. When we really love God and love other people, we apologize when we do something wrong. And it's not easy, right? I have my little um, soft, fluffy, um, stuffy here, um, in part because it's a reminder that maybe we need some comfort and some help to do things that are hard, like apologize or ask for forgiveness. And, um, and we practiced during uh, the children's message, we practiced with our stuffies on apologizing and saying the words. We practice saying, I'm sorry. Please, I'm, I'm sorry for what I did or said. And then you admit and acknowledge what you said or did. Please forgive me. And what can I do to make it better? How can I help? So those are things that we can practice doing. And when we love others, it might be difficult and we might need something kind of to help us with it. So I made a little heart stuffy um, as a reminder that um, things that are hard can also uh, bring softness. So um, what I mean is that things that are difficult, um, difficult to do, can bring um, like a good comfortable relationship back together. Like if I hurt my elephant, if my elephant were alive, if I hurt my elephant and then my elephant, Ellie would be sad and would not maybe want to talk to me or spend time with me or be with me because maybe she'd be so hurt. And so it's difficult, but I want to ask her for forgiveness and tell her I'm sorry so that we can be friends again and that we can heal that relationship. So I took um, two pieces of felt and these already had the holes cut out of them, but you could take some paper or some felt or whatever you might have and put in some hole punches and I have some ribbon and I just started putting the ribbon through the holes and doing it like this, pull it through and then stick it through this one, through this hole and pull along going. And then I stick it through the next hole like this and the next hole again. And I just keep doing that over and over until I'm almost done. And then I put in cotton balls, soft, fluffy, squishy, cuddly cotton balls. And so it reminds me that the difficult thing of apologizing brings us back together and, and it makes that relationship um, better again instead of being apart. So if you want to make one like this, you can get um, some felt or some paper, um, cardstock, whatever you have at home. If you have scrap um, material, like if you sewed masks or did any, if you do any sewing, then you probably have a lot of things, but you might have some extra uh, material and then you can just um, 
do this and fill it with your cotton balls as a reminder to say you're sorry. And maybe what you could do is you could call or FaceTime or um, a friend and arrange a time with masks um, to drop one off. And maybe you can make one and give one to a friend or a neighbor to let them know that you care about them and you're thinking about them too. Um, and we don't have to celebrate love only on Valentine's Day. Love should be celebrated all throughout the year, on every single day of the year, right? So um, you can do this special thing for a neighbor or a friend or a family member and drop it off to them. This also helps build some fine motor skills that even at the age of 42 can be challenging for me. But hand-eye coordination and fine motor skills are always good to work on. And if you're too young to do such fine motor skills, these are really small holes. You could do ones with just a few for younger kids. All right, and at this point, I just have a few left. I'm gonna put in some of my cotton balls. I'm gonna stuff my cotton balls in. I don't know if you can hear the wind, but it is so windy outside. And when I hear the wind, it reminds me of God's spirit, the Holy Spirit that comes in um, and Pentecost with the wind and the little tongues of fire over their heads of the disciples. Um, so it makes me, the wind makes me think of God's Holy Spirit. I think I have room for one more cotton ball. All right. So the, now that I stuffed my cotton balls in there, they're, they're all puffy in there. I'm going to finish sewing up my heart and then we will close in prayer. Now remember, when you have some time, you can practice apologizing because uh, we all will need to apologize at times. And it's good to practice it before we need to say it so that we'll, we'll know how to do it. So we'll say, we'll practice right now. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said those mean words and to you. I shouldn't have knocked over your toys. I shouldn't have taken your favorite book without asking. I shouldn't have uh, whatever you, you did. Please forgive me. What can I do to make it better? Good, let's practice it one more time. I gotta move my cotton ball first a little bit so I can reach my last hole. Okay, we're gonna say, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have uh, ignored you when you told me to go clean my room. I shouldn't have um, kicked you when I was mad. I shouldn't have thrown my toys. Please forgive me. What can I do to make it better? Good job. That was good practicing. All right, and now I have some extra ribbon and I'm just gonna make, I'm gonna tie it so that it makes like a little door hanger. And you can do that or you can um, just cut the ribbon off at the bottom. All right, so let's pray and thank God that he loves us and that we can tell him we're sorry when we've sinned and we can tell other people that we're sorry too when we hurt them. All right, 
have enjoyed spending this time together with you. And with our closing prayer, we're also going to do the Lord's Prayer. And you might not know the Lord's Prayer yet, and that's okay. We'll start doing it more often, and you'll learn it, okay? All right, let's pray. Open and close, open and close, give your hands a clap. Open and close, open and close, fold them in your lap. Dear God, thank you for loving us. Please help us to tell you we're sorry when we've done something wrong. Thank you for your loving forgiveness. And please help us to apologize to other people when we've hurt them too. We love you and we pray all this in Jesus name. Amen. All right. And I love you and I hope you have a wonderful week and I look forward to seeing you next week. All right. Bye.